Good evening, good evening, good evening. I want to welcome you to this worship and prayer service. And this and every Wednesday at 7.30 we are here worshiping the Lord and praising the Lord. Prayer is a very important activity in one's life. You will notice that many meetings, whether secular or religious, will start with a word of prayer. Cabinet meetings, parliamentary meetings, we have seen in the media, um, the chair or the president or the speaker, whoever is chairing the meeting saying, start us off with a word of prayer. National events start with a word of prayer. Prayer is inevitable. And I want to speak to anyone who is starting a new journey, starting a new business, starting a new relationship, or looking forward to start something new. Pray. Nehemiah prayed before he set out to build the wall. Daniel prayed before he was taken before the king, Nebuchadnezzar. Prayer, prayer is a very important aspect in any kind of activity or work. I want to invite you, as I welcome the worship team, to, to lead us in sung worship and lead us in a time where we can even give our offering, please take time to pray and worship devoid of any distractions. God bless you as you worship the Lord. Hi, I trust that the Lord has kept you well and that you're warm. As you can see, we've done our best to be warm now. Um, I'd like to encourage you guys to invite as many people as possible to have an awesome time in the presence of the Lord. Start watch parties. Invite your neighbors, your family, your everybody, basically, um, for a time of worship and giving thanks to the Lord. Um, let's pray before we start the service. Everlasting Father, we, we are grateful for the opportunity to just be in your presence today, oh God. We ask that you would meet each and every one of us at our point of need. That you would come and minister to us, oh God. Father, we ask for your presence, um, for the glory and honor of your name, oh God. May testimonies just come out of this service, or for the glory and honor of your holy name. We bless you and we honor your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Karibu. say there is a sweet anointing. you 
as we continue to sing this song that our God is here, I want to read Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. There's no one else in the history of the world or the earth or whatever, of the planet, who has ever said these words. No one else. Presidents always say, my government. Philanthropists say, my foundation. But Jesus said in 11, uh, Matthew 11, 28, he said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me. These are very powerful words. For I am gentle and humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Amen. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come and lay down the burdens you have carried. For in this sanctuary. Can we sing this? Can we sing this one more time? There is a sweet anointing. Come on, everybody say. Oh God, 
may you receive it, O oh God, and you help us, O oh God, to be free, O oh God. Lord, we pray to be free in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You are, you are Elohim. Elohim. You are God. There is none like you, Jesus. May your spirit come. May your spirit come. May your spirit come, rain, Lord. May your rain. May your rain. Start to call upon the Lord. Start to call upon the Lord. Tell him, Jesus, I need you in my life, oh God. If you feel that you are far from God, start to call him to be near you. Start to call him to be near you in Jesus' name. Oh, as you come, days, oh God. Oh, Jesus. Say, Jesus. Cause you are my God, you are my God, you are my God. Oh.
start to pray on behalf of this nation. Start to pray on behalf of this nation. May He reign in this nation. May He reign in this nation. May You reign, O oh God. May You reign, O oh God. Jesus. Thank you, our God. We know, our God, that you're going to heal this nation. That we know, our God, being the ancient of days, our God, that you shall heal this nation in the name of God. Lord, you are a miracle worker, our God. Lord, you are a miracle worker. Whatever miracle that you are believing God to do in your life, may you receive it in Jesus' name. May you start to receive it in the name of God. If it's sickness and you're praying for healings, may you start to believe for healing in Jesus' name. As we sing this song, may you take this opportunity and start to declare, oh God, may it be my portion in the name of Jesus. May he connect you with the destiny helpers in the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. You are a miracle worker. You are a destiny helper. You are a healer. You are a provider in this season, oh God. We thank you that we know, oh God, even in our weakness, you shall reign, oh God. Miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. I come and do a miracle, a miracle today. I come and do a miracle, a miracle today. 
a destiny. You are a destiny changer. Hey, I come and change my destiny, my destiny today. I come and change my destiny, my destiny today. Miracle worker, you are the miracle worker. Oh, I come and do a miracle, a miracle today. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. You are a destiny changer. Oh, a destiny changer. Hey, come and change my destiny, my destiny today. You will change my destiny, my destiny today. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Everybody say, your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Say your name. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, say your name. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Miracle worker. Miracle worker. You are the miracle worker. Come and do. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. Come and do. Come and do a miracle, a miracle. Say destiny changer, destiny changer. You are, you are the destiny changer. Come and change my destiny. Come and change my destiny, my destiny today. Come and change my destiny. Come and change my destiny tonight, my destiny. Oh, your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Say your name. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Come on. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Say your Voice and say your name is Yahweh. Oh, your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, oh God. Take this opportunity to pray for the spiritual emphasis campaign. Start to pray. As we are about to start, as we are going on with that book, that when you're going to be reading it, understanding, being better together, that, that may be impacted into our hearts. So take that moment to pray about it. Pray about it. That the Lord may help us. Even the CLDs, Pray for the CLDs in the name of Jesus. So when you are at home, pray for those two things. Spiritual emphasis campaign. And also pray for the CLDs. That may the Lord help us. Walk with us. That may we learn. So that we can learn to know how to stay with each other. We can be able to know how to love each other in the ways of Jesus. So thank you, O oh God. There is none like you, O oh God. You are a miracle worker. 
and we know Jehovah Lord anything ambao tuna, tuna, tunaona ya kwamba imekwama itafunguka in the name of Jesus itafunguka in the name of Jesus kwa sababu baba wewe uko na uwezo wewe uko na uwezo wewe ndio uko na nguvu in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus for our CLGs oh God thank you for our pastors oh God Thank you even for the leaders oh God that are leading those CLGs in the name of Jesus. That Jehovah Lord that may you bless them oh God. Those people ambao wana wanasikia wana wamekwama. Wanasikia hawana nguvu hata ya kwenda hizo CLG. Kama ya kufuata the spiritual emphasis campaign. That Jehovah Lord that may you give them strength. May you give them strength. Wape nguvu Mungu. Wape nguvu Mungu. Thank you Jesus. Kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu. Ha! Oh, wewe ni Mungu. Sema wewe ni Mungu. Ha! Oh, wewe ni Mungu. How can I miss you na chochote? How can I miss you na chochote? Chochote. Miku ni mwako tumekuja. Tukiomba uwepo wako uwepo wako Unafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kufanya Unatoa faraja ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kutoa how fun and each na kitu kingine how fun and each na kitu kingine wewe ni mungu mpasu wa bahari how fun na kitu kingine how fanani shui na kitu kingine oh wewe ni mungu mtuliza mawimbi how fanani shui na kitu kitu kingine wewe ni Mungu wewe ni Mungu mpasua bahari mpasua bahari how far and how far na kitu kingine na kitu kingine oh how far and nishwi baba how far and nishwi na kitu kingine oh
in power, oh God. Nobody can stand in your way. When you say you do, you'll do something, you do it. Yes, Lord. You're a promise keeper, oh God. And we know you to be a firm God. You are a faithful God. Your word says that even when we become faithless, you remain to be faithful, oh God. And we choose to stand upon that, oh God. The fact that you are a faithful God. You're not man that you should lie, oh God. Forgive us for the many times we have forgotten that that is who you truly are. For the many times we have forsaken, oh God, relationship with you. For the many times we've made our relationship with you about song, about career. The many times we've made our relationship with you about family and have forgotten that you desire our hearts, that you desire a relationship that goes deeper than the needs we have, oh God. That you desire a relationship that goes deeper, oh Lord. Forgive us for the many times, oh God, we have looked at circumstances and forgotten how strong you are. Today, Lord, we bring our hearts to you and lift up our lives to you that you may have your way. Yes, Lord. Just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart. I'll bring you more than a song for a song in itself, it's not what you have required. search much deeper within through the way things appear you're looking into my heart I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you Lord it's all I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made it when it's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. Genesis, we say, King of Endless Word. King of Endless Word. No one could express how much. 
much you deserve. How much you deserve. Though I'm weak and poor. Though I'm weak and poor. All I have is yours. All I have is yours. every single breath. of your sacrifice at the cross, O oh Lord, that we are able to stand before yes, you, O oh Lord, that we are able to approach you, O oh God, and approach your throne boldly and receive your grace and your mercy, O oh God. So receive your rightful place in our lives, O oh God. Lord, it's all about you. Forgive us, Lord, for when we've made it about ourselves, when we've made it about how good we are or the things we have done, O oh Lord. Forgive us when we have forgotten that our righteousness, O oh Lord, is like filthy rags, O oh God. Teach us and enable us, O oh God, to receive your righteousness with humility, O oh God, knowing that it's all about you. I want us to sing one more time and say, It's all about you. It's all about you. All about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. It's all about you. It's all about you. It has always been. It's all about you. All about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, it's all about you. And we're here to say thank you, Lord for allowing us to have a relationship with you, 
for pouring into us, oh God, for loving us. Your word says in Ephesians that through the Holy Spirit, you have poured out your love into our hearts. And so we are grateful, oh God, for your love, for your amazing love, oh God. <laughs> Wakati wa ukame huachi ni nyauke ona kupenda uninyunyizi ae maji wakati honor you Lord you are God and you are God alone and there's no space in the throne of our hearts for another God we have tried you and we have found you to be faithful to be worthy I know Lord just like Gideon sometimes we ask the question if the Lord is on our side why is this happening to us and there are so many Lord people who are watching today and they're asking if, and this is a question 
that Gideon asked you and we, so many of us are repeating it. If the Lord is on our side, why is this happening and why is this happening? Why did I lose my child? Why did I lose my job? Why did I lose my spouse? But Lord, you have always answered us. The grace is sufficient. Am I the one? Am I, am I not the one sending you? Go. And today, Lord, we want to respond to that call and go. And we are going. Because you are the Lord God who never fails his people. What is too hard for you, Lord? There's no river that is too fast. There's no sea you cannot part. There's no mountain that is too high. There's no valley that is too low. There's no disease that is too complicated. You, oh God, we call on you like the children of Israel called on you and you heard them and you delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh. And even when Pharaoh pursued and they were there in front of the sea, you parted it for them. Lord, we are praying today for the people, everyone who is watching this program today, that Lord, their sea will be parted before them. Whatever sea, whatever situation they are in, whatever wall, that it will come down. Go before them, Lord. Those who are going to interviews, go before them. Those who are going to open businesses, go before them. Those who are going to start ministries, go before them. Those who are going to studio to start their musical journey, go before them. Those who are going to campus to start a new course, go before them. Lord, we call on you, the Lord who does not fail. The Lord who knows no difficulty. The Lord who straightens every path. We call on you. We call on you. Straighten the path that we walk on. I thank you, Father, for everyone who tuned in to watch today. Answer their prayer, oh God. Answer their prayer, oh God. Some of them are praying for their children, for their spouses, for their churches. They have projects that have stalled. Father, I pray that the people of God in Kenya will be lifted, will be lifted, and their prayers will be answered. Start a revival in our hearts. People who are waking up early in the morning at 4 a.m. to pray, and they, don't, they no longer do that. People, Lord, who were sleeping late praying, and they no longer do that. Start something in their hearts. Star revival in the churches. All for your glory. All for your glory. All for your glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray trusting and believing. And the whole church say, Amen. And the whole church say, Amen. Come on, guys. And the whole church say, Amen. Amen. As we approach, as we approach the end, of uh, this worship and prayer session. I want to thank you for tuning in and to thank you for watching us. May the Lord truly bless you. May he expand every boundary and border. Amen. Just for you, favor, they say favor ain't fair. And so may he favor you today. Just because you watched this and that just because you're supporting us in prayer. May God bless you. I want to give us an opportunity to give. And as we read the story of Solomon, and as we think about God appearing to him and telling him, Solomon, tell me what you want, I will do. All of us desire that the Lord one day will tell us, hey, Susan, James, John, Peter, tell me what I can do for you. But if you read the previous verses, what he had done for the Lord to come down like that, you will see the sacrifice that this guy did. And after that, his life was never the same again. He gave, and I'll give you the homework, to just go and check how much he gave and quantify that to today's price. And you'll see he was a giver. I want to read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 6 to 8. The Bible says, remember this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what 
you have decided in your hearts to give. And as I, as I read this scripture, start deciding what you're going to give. The details will come on your screen on, on, about, on, on how exactly you can do that. Listen, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Not reluctantly, but then not under compulsion. It's, it's there. It's a cheerful giver. And as I give you this opportunity and as we sing, details of how exactly you can give will come to your screen. I want you to stand with the work of God. I want you to say, you know what? These people have ministered to me. They've given us an opportunity to praise and to worship. I will support the work of God. Make sure there is food in my house, the Bible says, in Malachi chapter 3. And then the promises of what he will do after that are there in the Bible. Amen. Amen. Your name is a strong tower Jesus To you belongs all power Jesus
us we are not happy because of our happenings we are happy because of his presence Amen. the presence of Amen. god there's fullness of joy yes and if you want this joy i know there are people who are watching us and your for whatever reason your heart is weighed down take your burdens like we started by saying and put them on the altar put them on the altar whatever it is the Lord will sort it out. You know, he told Abraham, Abraham, sacrifice your son Isaac. If he had not obeyed and taken Isaac to the altar, the Lord had, would have not provided for the lamb. If you hold on to those things you're holding on to, it's your addiction, your wrong relationships, affairs, your own life that you can't do anything with it, take it to the altar and the Lord will provide a way out he will repeat these words after me say Lord Jesus I confess that I am a sinner and I know and I believe in my heart that you came and you died for me today I receive that love and I confess with my mouth that I am born again by the power of the cross, by the power of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. If you have said that short prayer, there are numbers on your screen um, that will appear. Text that number. If you call it, uh, maybe we, someone might not pick, but text. Say, my name is so and so and I've given my life to Jesus. Someone will get back. If you're watching us on YouTube or on Facebook, Right there in the comment section, right, I have responded to the call of God and I have given my life to Jesus. Someone will get back, I promise you. Someone will inbox you, will exchange contact and we will reach out. And you don't have to be, you know, not born again. Whatever you're going through, just right there, guys, walk with me. There are enough pastors here at Karura Community Chapel. We will walk with you. We will assign someone to walk with you. So God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. See you next Wednesday. Give me